Hi, I'm Li Hao. So in the previous videos, I've talked about how uh, Svelte Store allows us to share application state across components without having to worry about the component hierarchy. And this actually is a problem that is being trying to be solved with all those application state management libraries out there. For example, Redux, Veltios, and many, many more. If a store follows a store contract, we can use dollar prefix variable to access the value of the store. This saves us time in terms of having to set up boilerplates to subscribe and unsubscribe from the store. If you can make the application state libraries that we want to use follows the store contract, then we can have a very seamless experience using them in Svelte application, right? So in the last videos, we have talked about how we can make Redux store a Svelte store, which if you haven't watched it, please click on the link on the top right corner. And in this video, we're going to take a look at a different application state library, uh, which is Veltio, right? So Veltio is a proxy-based uh, state library that allows you to wrap an object into a self-aware proxy, according to them, which you can subscribe to any changes made to that object, right? So, so you can have a subscribe method that listens to any changes. And when that change, you can get a snapshot of the object at that point of time, right? So subscribe, unsubscribe, pretty much the same of the store. So let's see how we can use it in a Svelte application. So over here, I have set up an example in code sandbox because of some uh, package issue. It's a bit hard to set up on the Svelte REPL. So I do it on the code sandbox, right? So over here, I have my app.svelte and the data.js. So in the data.js, I create a proxy state using proxy from Valtio Vanilla. So this, let me zoom in a bit. I mean, hopefully that you guys can see it clearer. So proxy will take in an object and create a proxy state, which allows you from this data, where we import from app.svelte, allows you to change the data like this uh, immediately, right? You can change this data any way you like count minus minus count data dot count equals to something however you like and to know that when this data has changed use a subscribe method from veltio vanilla so i use a vanilla version because by default veltio supports react but this is like the core of the veltio which just subscribe and snapshot and proxy right so subscribe allows you to subscribe a data state a proxy state so we pass in the data and then on, it will have a callback function. So we, when this function is being called, we know that the data has changed. So to get the snapshot of the state, we use a snapshot. So we pass in the proxy state and then gives us a snapshot. So every time when it change called snapshot, it gives us the snapshot. So a very simple way of understanding is this is that snapshot shows the exact point of like what is the value of the states so we use snapshot to read the data from the states so we use snapshot account over here on snapshot.txt over here right and whenever we want to manipulate data we just manipulate data directly right so over here we have a button that on click we say dot dot, dot count minus minus uh, decrement it and data dot count increment it and snapshot account over here and then we can also bind data.txt because uh, using bind, we are going to set the value of data.txt directly. Um, and then, yeah, and read the data.txt value from it. So this uh, makes the binding works as well. So if we type something, the snapshot will always get updated because of this subscribe method. And you see the snapshot.txt reflect over here. Same thing goes with counts increment and decrement, right? So if you take a look at the subscribe method of the data, well, it does not follow the store contract, right? Um, so three points about the subscribing, right? So first thing is that subscribe is an API. So it's not an object. Data does not have dot subscribe methods. So probably we have to create an object that has this subscribe method. So point two, 
the callback function does not p- calls with the uh, state of the store, right? You have to call an API to get the state, right? And then point three is that this thing uh, does not call this callback function immediately, right? It calls, um, so you have to initialize the data of the snapshot over here yourself, right? So because of all these three points, we kind of have to make it, have to turn this data into a spelled store following the store contract. So over here, let's see what we can do over here. So I'm going to define a function, a util function. I'm going to export function to spelled store, right? And then going to take in the proxy state and we're going to return an object. So over here, we are not going to change the store. So we just make it readable, which means we only need to implement the subscribe method. Subscribed takes in a function, which in this case, we should subscribe directly to the proxy and return the subscribe. Good thing is that it returns us an unsubscribe method so we can return it directly as well. So over here, I'm going to take a value and an fn and I'm going to get the snapshot of the store. So snapshot, let's say, uh, subscribe to the proxy state. And then I'm going to call this with snapshot of the proxy state. Right, and we also need to call this function immediately. So I'm going to do it over here as well. And here we have it. So we're going to import this function from data. And we're going to pass, we're going to get a new store, a uh, snapshot store equals to two spell store and then data. And then since this store follows the store contract, we can use dollar prefix to assess the value of the store. So I don't need mounts. I don't need to do it on mounts anymore dollar prefix value auto subscribes when the command component is mounted and unsubscribes when the component is unmounted so we can re remove all of this uh remove on mounts as well and uh, remove all the subscribe snapshot everything so now i can use dollar prefix over here snapshot dot count snapshot dot text right and let's see it still works right it works fine as it's supposed to, right? So this is how you can convert a value proxy state into a Svelte store following the store contract. So one great thing about Veltio store is that you can, uh, any sub property or nested objects of the Veltio store is also, uh, sorry, of a Veltio proxy state is still another, it's another proxy state. Right, so which means that you can actually subscribe to parts of the Veltio store and ignore the rest of the things. Right, what I mean is that, for example, over here, say for example, I have a dollar prefix, which is a reactive uh, statement where I'm going to console out every time the snapshot store has changed. I'm going to say, uh, oh, sorry, let's say this change. So every time the snapshot store values changes, I'm going to call this console log over here. Okay, so when I every time when I change something, you will see that you will console out over here. Change your console out over here. And if I type something over here, it will console out as well. Right? I'm not sure why it's console out twice. Let me refresh this. Probably it's of the hot reloading. Uh, let me let me refresh and at the same time let me uh disable the hot reloading configuration uh, sandbox config hot reload okay save close come back sorry for that Okay, I have my app dot spell and data js. Collapse this. 
let's see. Yeah. Whoops. It's also it's still called twice. Is it something wrong with the subscription? Let's see. Supposed to Okay. Yeah, only call it once, right? When I change when I change the text, you'll see the console out. When I change the count, you'll see the console out, right? Because we're subscribing the whole object, right? Which contains both the count and the text. But we can actually subscribe to only one of it, right? And that that is how a Valtio store works, right? I can say the count snapshot. I'm going to say data.count. And over here, I'm going to console.log change. Right. Because of hard reload, hard reload, it has to refresh itself every time. Uh, so let's save again. Refresh. A oh, proxy object. Ah, I think I know why. Okay, so I'm gonna change because uh, this is a primitive, so it can't does do well with this. Let's say uh, account value zero over here, and we are going to change counts dot value instead. Okay, let's see. Okay, so okay, by default, we have a snapshot change and count change, right? So if we change anything over here, you'll see snapshot and the count snapshot has changed. So we kind of monitor that anytime when this, uh, when, when we change the count of value, this two will be executed because the whole proxy state has changed, right? But if we type over here, you see that only the snapshot store has changed but not the count snapshot because you just subscribes to a part of it, which is only the count uh, sub object, right? So whatever, whenever the text is changed, we don't care about it. So this is one great thing about Veltio. You can subscribe to a partial object of the whole entire proxy store uh, because sub, the proxy state is made up of smaller proxy states. So sub object is another proxy state. Right, so one great thing about using Veltio. So would you consider using Veltio with Svelte? Comments down below. I would love to hear your thoughts about it. So if you like this video, give me a thumbs up and comment down below if you uh, have any opinions about using Veltio with Svelte. So as always, uh, the link of this code sandbox will be in the YouTube description down below. And be sure to subscribe to my channel New videos will be coming out soon about Spell Store. So subscribe and get notified. Bye bye.